Okay, so we are now on day 10 from my January's challenge and we are back to doing another one of my four minute HIIT workouts. And remember, it is really important if you haven't done a warm up, do just make sure you spend about a minute or so marching on the spot so you can always just hit the pause button. And then I'm ready to get training with you today. We'll go straight into it. Remember, you've got alternatives. So if you're a beginner, these workouts still suit you. It's really simple. I'm going to do it with you in real time. And all the exercises we're doing today are performed standing up. So the first one is, we're going to start with doing these hamstring kickbacks. If you don't want to do the jog or the jumping, then you're literally just going to kick your heel back. So we're going to go for doing 20 seconds. And remember, if you are following me on the right, if ever you're doing the high impact version, it's so important, always wear a pair of trainers, wear a good sports bra, and always make sure you land nice and softly. So we're just kicking those heels back. That's the first move, five, let's go four, three, two, and one. Okay, so your second move today, we're gonna do some deep lunges. So you need to come into a split stance for me. We'll do 10 seconds one leg, then 10 the other. And then if you want to make it harder, follow me on the right and you're just gonna open up the arms and go really low. If you're following me on the left, just don't take it as low and just have your arms at shoulder height. So we're just doing 10 seconds, one leg. Let's now change to the other. And if you really want to up the intensity, take that nice and low. Just be aware not to let your knee in the front come over the line the toes and keep that upper body nice and straight for me. Open up through the arms. Okay, that's good, so we're nearly done. Right, see the next one here. We're gonna take the hands over to one side and then you draw the opposite knee across. You do 10 seconds one side. And then if you don't wanna do the harder version, just follow me on the left. So just don't have the arms above the head and it's just a knee tap on there. So you're just taking the hands up to meet the knee. If you're following me on the right, then really imagine you're pulling something tight across and really draw that knee up. Try and keep that upper body straight. So we're just drawing the leg over and just really pull those arms across and over. That's good. Well done, so it's 10 seconds each leg on that one. All right, so now you're familiar that, with that routine, let's go through it again. Remember, if you want to now, instead of because you know what's coming up, you can go straight into it. So we're gonna go straight to those hamstring kicks for me now. And let's just take that up. So with these, again, if you want to, just follow me on the left. So you're not doing the jump, but you're just kicking that heel back, aiming to touch the hands on there. Make sure you keep those tummy muscles nice and tight. This is a nice quote, stay fit so you can chase your dreams. All right, and let's go two and one. So we're done on that one. Now come into that deep lunge for me. So step one foot, the further in front you step it, the bigger that lunge, the more powerful that is. And then have your arms extended straight out. So just choose your position. If you want to work a little bit harder, follow me on the right. We're just gonna do 10 seconds one leg, then 10 on the other. I'll count you down, let's go three, take it two, and one, now change legs, take that opposite leg back, keep that upper body straight, and then let's go for another 10 seconds now. So this one here, we're working lots of major muscle groups, we're also adding in this arm movements, so we're toning through the arms as well as through the abs and legs. Okay, so we're done on that one. Now come to that one where you're gonna extend both arms out to one side, and we just work on one leg for 10 seconds, and then 10 on the other leg. So we draw that over and imagine you're really, if you're following me on the right, imagine you're pulling something really heavy down to meet the leg, that's good. And really keep those tummy muscles pulled in as tight as you can for me, that's so important. All right, you've done 10 seconds, change to the other leg now and take that across. If you're following me on the left, you're just really then just twist that upper body just a little bit as you bring that knee up so you're working into the waist for me. Okay, well done. So we are now halfway through today's training, so we're gonna get ready to go straight into that first move. When I'm showing you the preview, instead if you want to, you can go straight into it. it, just means you'll be doing a few more seconds. So you have now got those heel kickbacks. So if you're following me on the right, really take them up nice and high, keep that upper body nice and straight for me. 
And again, here's a really lovely quote. Every day, wake up and have a big spoonful of self-belief. Okay, that's good. Let's go last four seconds. There's no calories in that either. Three, two, and one. All right, and let's now take that to that second move. So I want you to take it into that split stance and we're gonna go for doing the lunges. You've got the arms extended in front. To make it harder, you follow me on the right. So you just take one arm up and the other arm away behind you. So then we're also working through the um, shoulders. We're also turning through the triceps. That's good. All right, so we're now halfway through. Just change legs for me. Take that to the opposite leg. And again, keep that upper body nice and straight. Make sure that knee isn't coming over the line of the toes. Control through with the arms. Think about where you're working. You're toning your bottom, you're toning your thighs, you're toning your arms and your abs. Okay, so we're coming up to that one where we're just taking the leg out to the side, hands out to the side, and then we join to me in the center. And again, we'll go 10 seconds, one leg. And draw that across. So really important with this one, for balance, you have to really use your abdominals. So really keep the belly button pulled in tight to your spine. This bit hard to read this one, so I'm going to read it for you. Okay, you've got another 10 seconds, let's change legs now. So the mix of willpower and determination is a powerful potion, and that's really true, and that goes with your exercise and healthy living. If you've got determination and willpower, you will reach all your goals. All right, so we've got the last minute to go. Let's put in 100% for this. So we're gonna start with those heel kickbacks. So when you're ready, you can just join in. And remember with this one, try and keep that upper body nice and straight. If you're following me on the right, land as softly as you can. And if you put in 100%, then you get back 100% results. Okay, that's good. You've got last 10 seconds of these today. And I'm gonna count you down from the last five. And let's go five, take it four, three, two, and one. All right, so now come straight into that lunge for me. Remember, the deeper the lunge, the further your stance is, then the harder you are working. You choose your arm position. So first of all, start with your arms extended in front, and then you can either take them out to the side, as I'm doing on the left, or take them up and behind you. That's good. And we'll go another four seconds, and we're gonna change legs. Three, take it two, and one. Now step the other foot in front, and again, make sure the knee doesn't come over the line of the toes. And let's go for 10 seconds. So these are big, powerful, dynamic moves. We haven't done any jumping today, but don't you worry. Well, we know we have done a little bit. And um, what I mean is you haven't done these squat jumps, but you've got them later on in the week. All right, so let's get ready now to do that last exercise. So we're gonna come into that again. You've got that leg out to the side, arms up, and you're drawing it into the center. 10 seconds and really pull those tummy muscles in as tight as you can for me. Really feel that working through your core. And let's go last three. And we're gonna take it two and one. Change legs for me now. Take that to the opposite side. So this one, we're working again, your upper body, we're working your middle body and we're working your lower body. We're gonna be burning calories, toning up, getting fitter, doing everything. And two and one, done. Okay, so I have got a bonus move for you. You don't have to do this, but if you've got a little bit of energy and you want another 20 second challenge, here we go. Let's just go star jumps for me. 20 seconds. If you don't wanna do the jump, follow me on the left. Just take one arm up and over and the leg out to the side. And here's a nice motivational quote to finish today's work on, workout on, which is, don't call it a dream, call it a plan. Okay, three, two, and one. And you are officially now done. Workout complete. So really well done with today's training. What I'm gonna do with you now is just run through all the stretches. Remember, if you need to, hit the pause button and you can go and grab some water. So let's start with doing that calf stretch. Step, stretch one leg um, out behind you. Make sure you keep the heel down on this one. I want you just to feel that through the calf muscle. Holding that there good and just really feel that stretch and let's now take that to the opposite leg step that behind and remember it's so important to do this alongside the clean healthy eating and if you haven't remember I have got that on my website so you can go and download it it's free it's seven days <clears throat> all right let's now take that hamstring stretch so we're going to take that leg in front toes pointing up make sure your hands are on the bent leg and just really stick the bottom out so you can feel that through the back of the upper thigh that's 
good and then let's take that to the opposite side and if you stick with it with this week as well and focus on the healthy eating I always say to my clients by the end of week two you should really start to notice a big difference okay so now and that is really in your body shape your tone definition obviously in your energy but your energy you notice the difference in that straight away so let's feel that quadriceps stretch through the front of the thigh good and now let's take that to the opposite side and let me know in the comments below what one was your favorite quote or what one that motivates you more has the biggest impact okay that's good and then I think mine is have a spoonful of self-belief for breakfast or I don't think I said breakfast but in the morning so feel that through your chest and now let's just take those arms behind so now we're just feeling that through the top of the upper back Holding that there, it's good. And let's get ready now. Just take a one arm up and just ease those fingertips down between the shoulder blades. And then let's now take that to the opposite arm. Again, just feel that through the um, tricep. And I have to say such a big thank you to all of you on Lucy Squad because I know you've all started sharing and it's going worldwide. It's amazing. So I cannot thank you enough for helping me show everyone how to fall in love with fitness and how this online community now is helping inspire people worldwide. So thank you so much. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And then tomorrow we are back doing a um, ab toning workout. So I will see you back on my channel tomorrow and well done for today's training.